Uh, Miss Andrews. I, I know, I know, it's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll make it up by making a new urn for you. I'm just wasting my time, she's too far gone. Anything with this? Uh, Miss Andrews? Okay. Um, young but skilled lawyer. Can you tell me anything about Luke Adme? No. Anything about the masked? Okay, yeah, she's... <laughs> she needs to calm down a little. I don't have anything I can to make her calm down. Maybe my attorney's badge. Maybe my calling card? No, okay. She is just really far gone right now. I will come back later. When you're just a little calmer. Anything down here? Nothing down here. Can I present this to her? Okay, no. I'll see you later. I forgot I did leave Pearl here. Uh, Mr. Nook, welcome back. Oh, hey, Pearls. You're back too, I see. I, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. I'll go make some tea and go to go with it. Hey, uh, Pearls? Looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Mr. Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. I'll never forgive you ever. Miss Stigmaya, tea's ready. Oh, thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick, have some of this cake. Yeah, thanks. And pearls? Oh, uh, excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning. Uh, hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about it, about her. I first met Pearls a few, uh, a year ago. It was when that murder happened at the Korean village. I still remember that, what she told, said to me when she, when we first met. You, you're Mr. Nick, right? You're, you're Mystic Maya special someone. Hey, Maya, I've always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls, I think she's got the wrong idea. About you and I. Huh? Um, I... Um... There's something you need to understand. What is it? Um, it's kind of like a Korean village custom, sort of. Oh my god. You're gonna say, like, oh, we're actually dating already. It's like, <laughs> we're going way too fast. Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and, well... Because of the murder... The murder ca case last year, Pearlie's mother is... Well, yeah. She's in jail for a little bit. I remember now Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. So you see, I'm the only family Pearl has, Pearly has right now. But it's the same for me too. Maya? Mother's gone too. My mother's gone too. How about we cheer up the mood? There are hardly any men in Korean village. Yeah, I can tell. Now that you mention it, I never actually saw any men when there when I visited. Even though yet you, they have children. I did, okay. Pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. I don't remember it. About how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fae family? Yeah, you did. 
And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit, spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of the Korean village kind of revolves around as women. But what if you don't have a daughter? Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Uh oh. Well, men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father? He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Why not just have more kids? Yeah, and she grew up seeing nothing but uh, unhappy marriage. Marriage is all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Oh. I know. So your mother's still missing? Yeah, and no one has any idea where she is. She's probably gonna come back in like the last one here. Maya's mother, Misty Fay, the current master of the Korean te channeling technique. And she disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a, cer in a certain p police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spear medium thing. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the Korean technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with the blood of the Fae main family who's a spear medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around in the office. Yeah, I know. But first, I want to talk to Pearls. Uh, Mr. Nick? Yeah? I acted like a baby. Pearls? I doubted you, even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely. I guess I'll start have to... Oh, I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick? Yeah? I, I from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Oh, it's okay. Well, I'm going out now for a little bit. Uh-huh. What? Where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spear channeling tech power. So I'm going to show you I can be useful to by finding some evidence. Please don't. Wait. She sure runs fast. Nick, let's get... Let's back off and give her some room. Okay? Yeah. Now can I go to at me? Yay! Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode, relax and soak up the atmosphere. Um, we're actually kind of... Shush! Silence! Eh, ah, precisely as I expected. What is it? Zave Zaviri! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, am I correct? I think you've already been through this. Huh, so my estimation was correct. Zave, Zaviri. Oh, well, uh, truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? Yeah, you're probably a thief. You mentioned before that you were on guard all alone last night. Precisely, this is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Master Mask uh, since his very first theft. You know, actually, I was thinking. Looking at this guy, I don't know if he could actually be Master Mask. His nose is too big. Like, physically speaking, his nose is huge. There's not a giant protrusion right here. It would be pretty obvious. So I don't actually think he's Master Mask. I still think he's bad, but... He might- he's probably not the actually dude who did it. 
Like, because that nose is huge. Yes, my dear, I see you've done your homework. Like, look at that thing. There's no way a mask can fit that. It is the very first heist that a bio thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Emanon. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, lit, uh, hall, this crime scene itself. So, that's why you were hired as security for the tre uh, treasure exhibit? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lord Lee Taylor and set the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. So how did Mask Damask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Ma Damask's modus operandi? Uh, Mr. Atme, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Damask. Sacred urn? Poof! That has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Master Mask stole this time? I am a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. After all, we are all but seekers, wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how a mask de mask managed to seal the urn. Steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Master Mask. <laughs> How many? Oh, one? That's cute. What the? It's a Cyclock. Cyclock? Mm-mm-mm, <laughs> buddy, why are you lying? What you hiding, buddy? Hey, Nick, what is this Cyclock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magna Magatama has that kind of power? You didn't know? My, you're the one who gave this Magatama to last year to me. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized fave family heirloom, but... Pearly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about what I can, what I can do. It's the woman that's going to take over the Korean channeling school someday. So how do you do it? How do you break the cyclock thingy? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool, I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn to be patient. Let's see. Take that! Uh, the M.O. Detective Abney, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Master Mask commit the crime. Well, now I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That is, that much is true. But I can tell you for certain, not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this at me guy is lying through his teeth. 
I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective Abney, I have your proof that someone went through that door last night. Camera data. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but you've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? But my monocle didn't catch anyone in the flash. In its flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying I didn't do my duty properly? Detective Atme, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Master Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't do... You didn't at that time was because you were... Fast asleep, unconscious, or using the bathroom. He was fast asleep, probably. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. I did. I'd... I have no proof of that. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. I have, I have no proof of that. I got no nothing. Oh, please, someone. <laughs> Same, man. Can I look at this? I need a few today. Someone did, in fact, go through the big door last night, right? Yeah, I guess so. The shutter did go off once, you know? Can I see the computer? Can I, can I see the picture? Good question. Let's take a look at it. Huh? It says property of Lordly Taken off. So it's borrowed. Kind of strange for an ace detective, don't you think? Let me please just look at it. Uh, can I present profiles? What about this person here, detective? Is something wrong? Did the cat get your tongue or something? That photo leaves me with a distinctly indistinct feeling. Hmm. In this case, I'm afraid my pers perspicacy has been left wanting. I think he's trying to say he doesn't have any information. Um, anything on Maya? Um, so how do you think, uh, how did you know I was a spear medium? Oh, that was a child's play. First, your hair, it's not of the type one sees every day, both rare and enchanting, almost otherworldly. I thought it would likely that you were either a fortune teller or a speed or spirit medium. I didn't quite detect the wisdom of one sees in a fortune teller, and so is a very. That left one possibility. I also have a bio about me on the treasure exhibit poster. <laughs> That's pretty amazing the way you were able to tell what I do for a living. Oh, it's elementary, my dear Wright. Elementary! If you're really interested, the first clue was the hair. It points backwards. It shows you're prepared to take on an attack, such as a cr for a criminal. For example, from your clothes, I knew you were a policeman, so I deduce you were a lawyer. After a combination of code logic and intuitions, are very only the truth remains. Well, impressive. Maybe you just took a look at your attorney's badge on the lapel. Genius. That's so mean. Anything about Adrian? Oh, the charming young lady responsible for security, Adrian Andrews. Huh? You know her? Yes, well I should. She was the person who hired me for this job. A very intelligent woman, after all, she hired Detective Luke Adme, did she not? I'm not entirely convinced that it was an intelligent move on her part. That's so mean. Anything about Miss Delight? Or Mrs. Delight? Nothing. This man surrendered to the police, admitting that he was Master Mask. Maybe so, but I'm not convinced that he's really behind the thefts. He is! He sounds pretty sure. Just look at his forehead, it's all of the shape of his mouth and eyes. This the classic face of a thief is unmistakable. 
Uh, is there anything that isn't unmistakable to you? I mean, he doesn't look like the thief type to me, but that's just me. I don't want to hear about him. Let's go back to trying to crack this. I'll be back in a little bit. Down the list it goes. Is this right? Detective Atme. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha, huh, surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke Atme, could uh, be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. It does. That's... Before the theft, the sword was in the hand of the statue of Ami Fei. Therefore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh -huh. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. Well, Detective, what about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. I can't deny that there are many, maybe a small hint of truth in what you say. So you're knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber? What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck me at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, but the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Besides the air ducts of, or the perhaps the air ducts or sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me in the head from behind with the, this gruesome item here. Ouch, he must have had his head prep or, uh, whatever. How can you say that again? How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Because he's not a good detective. Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. What? That Emmy is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he actually never saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So, the thief may not even be in mask to mask. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably mask to mask. But he never s actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed security camera for just a, such a contingency, but you didn't install it. Oh. Last night the camera went off exactly once. Behold that this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. That's him. But I mean, it looks really poorly staged, but... Mask to mask! Security photo added to the court record. The thief can be none other than the ar my arch criminal. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such a brazen crime. What are you talking about? So what did he you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that, Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit these crimes. He, there should be a green envelope somewhere in this room. In his room, you'll need to go investigate it. But how did would you know that? Hmm. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest state's det detective ever to walk on the face of the earth, the most brilliant mind uh, since uh, well ever. Look at me. Well, I guess we'd better go take a look at just in case. Anything to go see, Miss Delight. because she is a delight to go and talk to. Dog. No, fog. Oh, there is a green envelope. 
Yeah, somehow I think he's just putting this dude up for the fall. Hey Nick, remember what Detective Atme said? Exactly that Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to, you'll need to go and investigate that. A green envelope, huh? Looks like this one. This is it. Okay, let's have, take a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to K, KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring 50 grand. 50,000? That is a blackmail letter. I'm sure it sure looks like a major clue, all right. Hello? Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take a second. Uh, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. Well, I see a damsel in distress. I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay. I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You're, you're... Oh, no. Why? And he's, oh my god, he's, <laughs> yet another time he's not gonna get the girl. Nick, it's you and Maya too, what a fluke. Ah, Larry, long time no see. What, you know each other? Nicky boy. Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Why are you wearing a, why are you a security guard? Because that's not a police officer. Something. Do you mean that I think, I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Way to go, dude. I knew it. Just when things can get any worse, it's time to cue in the buds. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Hey man, no, it wasn't nice. I was your very first client. It's been 25 years since the day I met Larry. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the buds. Hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here. See, two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Nice girl, that uh, Desi. Is that how you been, Nick? Too busy if you really wanna know. God, I don't know. Wait, why? Why?